start here, yeah. So let, let's come down and see what we've got cooking down here. We'll explain, we'll explain. Yeah, Okay. Alright, who's talking? Alright, so I guess the first one right here is addressing the knowledge, educational influence branch of this tree. We come with a solution of subliminal messages. <laughs> and so we have people eating in this restaurant, and so there's some kind of music playing. And it's either playing some kind of messages or uh, songs with lyrics with, uh, that encourage composting and environmental awareness. Cool. <laughs> Uh, the next one is uh, that people want to make an impact or they want to know they're making an impact. So you can have uh, positive images or negative images of, uh, of like nuclear, grassy nuclear waste or <laughs> grassy meadows of AM. Nice. Uh, since people are very lazy, they can just throw it all into one big bin and then they'll just have an automatic sorter inside that will just put everything into its respective uh, pile. Yeah. Okay, and then as far as, this is for people who are indifferent to composting and recycling, and a problem was acceptability, so we could have celebrity endorsements, like uh, Chuck Norris. If you, don't re if you don't recycle, you get a brownhouse kick to the face. <laughs> Nobody wants that. And then shapes. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then uh, another thing, like for ease of use for sorting, was that the lids could be made in the shape of what you're throwing away, so the spoon goes through the spoon lid, and you know if everything's compostable, like the spoons and forks and something, you could have a lid with different shapes on it that goes to the same bin. And then color codes, which is basically same idea, but mm -hmm. color coded because it's easy to tell to throw the red spoon in the red bin. So. All right. Cool. Thank you.